Hello, and welcome to my first Blender tutorial in a hopefully series of Blender tutorials. In this tutorial, I will teach you the basics of uh, Blender 2.5 navigation. So, um, this is Blender 2.5, this is the main view window. Uh, you rotate the view around by uh, holding your middle mouse button and moving your mouse. Also, to pan the view, you hold shift and uh, click the middle mouse button and again you move your mouse. Um, now, uh, to remove an object from the scene, press your uh, X key and click delete or press X key again. If you want to add a new object to the scene, press shift A and you, ha and you have this menu appear here can add meshes, curves, surfaces, meta balls, text and a lot of other useful stuff. So for example we can add a cube. I know we had a cube but I want to show you how to remove one. So um, to move an object around you press your G key for grab and you move it around in a place. To reset an object to its default position you press alt G as in, in you undo the movement but it's not actually undo it's it just uh, resets the object to its previous uh, position to rotate, an to rotate an object you press R and uh, you can rotate it using your mouse also by pressing R two times you can get a sort of trackball rotation kind of thing Anyway, Altar will reset the rotation and to change the size of an object you press S to scale it up or down. Again press Alt S to undo all the changes. Also all these changes can be done using these arrows which will lock to certain axes. The, uh, the red axis is the X axis, the green axis represents the Y axis and the blue axis represents the Z axis. Mm. Uh, if you want more precise controls, for example, you want to move the object only on one axis, you can press G and then press X to move it on the X axis, Y to move it on the Y axis, or G, Z to move it on the Z axis. Also, if you want uh, snapping uh, when moving an object, you hold control key and it snaps to the grid. Also by holding the shift key you have a very smooth and slowly transition. Same applies for rotation. And scale. Uh, you can press tab to enter in edit mode. Here you can actually start to modify the shape of the object uh, also controlling the camera if you press 1 on your number pad keys uh, you get the front view 3 is for the side view and 7 is for the top view pressing 5 will toggle between orthographic perspective or uh, perspective like uh, a real 3D view um, orthographic is useful for uh, precise editing while the perspective is to get an idea how it will look through the camera. Pressing 0 on your numpad key will uh, show you th uh, the view through the camera. Uh, you can, uh, if you're not in edit mode, you can select the camera by right clicking on its edge and move it around with G. Also rotate it. Also same, uh, uh, sorry I uh, I move the camera out of place. It's no problem. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, something like that. Sorry about that. Um, 
So in edit mode, these oranges, these orange points here, are called vertices. They basically define the shape of an object. You can move them uh, the same way you can move objects with the G key. You cannot rotate vertices since there are points. You cannot rotate a point, and you can't scale them. Uh, also, by pressing Control Tab, you can switch what you want to select in editing mode. For example, edges allow you to select edges of a face. Now, edges you can move them, scale them, uh, and uh, faces mode, which can be scaled, moved, and rotated, just like on an object. Uh, pressing Ctrl Z will undo whatever you changes you've made to the object and uh, Ctrl Y will redo them. Also, any edits that you make um, in edit mode, such as scaling, rotating and moving, uh, cannot be reset by using the Alt G, Alt R or um, uh, Alt S um, commands because uh, they actually edit uh, the mesh of the object, not the object itself. Uh, so now uh, I've shown you the basics of Blender and hopefully soon enough I'll actually show you how to put this to practice.